Silence on Mars presses down like a weight you can almost feel. As we orbit above, the planet unfolds like a story written in iron-rich dust and ancient rocks. In certain valleys, recurring slope linear hint that water still moves, even if briefly. Dust storms rise and twist across the Martian surface, shifting billions of tons of rust-colored particles like nature's brush strokes. Mid-latitude minerals quietly hydrated mark places where liquid water once lingered. Seasonal carbon dioxide caps expand and recede like clockwork, contrasting the brutal dayless winds that leap more than 70 degrees Celsius. Radiation from the sun pierces the thin atmosphere, reshaping chemistry across the surface. Each observation leads to another question. Every new discovery on Mars shakes the foundations of our models. Curiosity found nantronite clays, which are signs of water that was surprisingly gentle in acidity. But then gerocide and other sulfates appear nearby, telling the acidic episodes. This mixture forces us to rethink Martian watery past. Volcanic plains stretch endlessly between craters, while layered sediments whisper of flutes and winds long gone. Orbital spectrometers detect phyllosilicates near impact craters. Sedimentary layers slope and cross, recording fleeting water flows. Could microbes have thrived here even briefly? Hydrothermal activity and impact melt pools could have created transient wet environment. Variations in iron oxidation states add the puzzle. Even temperatures winds trigger complex reactions here, leaving behind a record that is both tantalizing and confounding. To uncover these secrets, rovers meticulously collect rock and soil samples.
Sherlock illuminates organic molecules using Raman spectroscopy exposing patterns invisible to the naked eye. Together, these instruments reveal episodes of water activity on Mars, clay alteration and sulfate deposition. But perchlorates complicate thermal analysis breaking down organics before we can measure them. Iron oxides dominate spectrum, masking chemical traces. Cosmic radiation and ultraviolet light constantly modify surface, yet subsurface layers provide small molecules. Isotopic ratios whisper hints of ancient water-rock interactions, helping us to piece together Mars' fleet inhabitable windows in far past. Each sample tells a story, though it's often a story of survival against destruction of potential life threatened by harsh conditions. Mars rover instruments show that Martian dust contains 20% iron oxides, which whale whatever organics might exist. Tiny pyrite grains complicate matters further, hiding the faintest chemical whispers. Laboratory tests reveal that even part per billion of organics can vanish under Mars-like conditions. Ultraviolet light bathes the equator, while cosmic rays penetrate meters of regolith on Mars, creating oxidants like perchlorates or superoxide. Thermal decomposition during Mars sample analysis procedure adds another layer of destruction. Even hydrothermal zones leave only ephemeral traces. Iron oxide-rich dust dominates orbital spectrum, hiding potential life signs on Mars. In a way, a regolith both preserves the story and erases it simultaneously.
Mars seems to guard its secrets jealously, having scientists chasing fragments of a complex puzzle. 